What's up, guys? Welcome back to Real Bucks Talk. Today, I want to talk on Dave Canales and what he had to say that went into him deciding as Baker Mayfield as QB1. And also, he divulges into what the Bucks offense is going to look like. And that's something I want to really dive into after he goes ahead and speaks on the Bucks offense. Let's get it going. We had a pra- an indoor practice, like one of the days after that, and he launched a 67-yard post route on the money to Mike. And it was like, Here's the coverage. I could see his wheels turning. He looked. He saw Mike. Everything was perfect. He threw the ball way down the field on the money, and Mike walked in, and then I was just like goosebumps. I was like, oh, that that was cool. And and then he he kind of built and fed off of that, you know, and was like, just now, okay, so I'll hit it when it's there, but now I just do the little things. And then when the next big one's there, I'll try to hit it, you know, so – that's what I was been trying to sell to him. Just be special like that, that many times, you know, be special in those small moments. Otherwise just throw it to the open guy, just check it down to the back, make those decisions, play good football. And then when they put their gloves down, knock them out. That's cool. I mean, you've heard people describe how Canales kind of describes his offense as like a, a boxing match. Yeah. He kind of says it again there, a reference there. But it's not like he's taking huge chunks like how B.A. and Leftwich wanted to do all the time in years past where they're looking 20, 30 yard down the field throws and long developing throws that don't put your quarterback in a good advantage. The best thing is get a quick, easy read, get it out. That's a lot of what you saw in the preseason as well. And it wasn't like it was anything fancy. It was just let me get the ball out, especially if there's defenders with like eight yard cushion. That's something that we're in the. Back in the day, the Bucks would literally give eight-yard cushions all the time, and people would just take the, the yardage for it. That's something we're probably going to see in this type of offense. And getting it down to the check down, like he just mentioned again, to the running back. Rashad White's pretty damn good at that, and we have guys in like Chase Edmonds and Sean Tucker that can catch a ball and make something happen with it. So that's actually really special. But the biggest thing I took is you don't need to be special this much. You don't need to be Peyton Manning, Tom Brady at all times. You just have to be good when it's when that knockout punch is there. You got to take it. And Baker has that confidence. Even Kyle showed that in, in the preseason. But the thing is, look at last year of Seattle and Geno Smith. He looked like all-worldly, Pro Bowl type of player. And it was because he was hitting those deep shots when they were there. It's not like he was consistently always just throwing the ball down the field. They would run the ball. They would set things up. And then when that opportunity arose, Gina Smith was Johnny in the spot, hitting those deep routes. So that's all we're looking for. That's all Dave Canales is looking for in this offense. He's not looking for consistently driving the ball down the field. It may look like it because when you hit, you're hitting, that's a big, deep throw. Everyone's been sucked in through running the ball, through short routes, through checkdowns. If the defense gets lazy or just a little too aggressive thinking, oh, here comes another checkdown. I've seen this before. That's what he's talking about. And getting the defense to feel like, oh, this is just the same old crap. They're going to keep getting this two-yard throw. So it shouldn't be six-yard gain. I'm going to stop them for a two-yard or I'm going to intercept it. When they get aggressive, then I can pick this ball off. So it's all about like the deception, the the window dressing, we call it over here. And Dave Dave Canales sounds like he knows what he's talking about when he's setting these things up. So the whole thing now, it's does it come to fruition? Can Baker Mayfield, Baker Mayfield be the man that, executes this plan right or does he fall into the tendencies like how some people said he did in Cleveland where he was almost like a Jameis Winston risk taker where he would just throw it into the defense or um, how he sometimes just doesn't read the defense he'll literally just go first read first throw first option and it ends up in an interception that's something we've seen in years past with Jameis and it's a scary thing to see hopefully with this offense QB uh, friendly offense there's options that are already there easy. So he doesn't have to really see it through or he just doesn't lock on on a deep route when there's an over wide the hell open. So we did see that also in a preseason game, which kind of didn't scare me, but it was something where that's a tendency he's done in the past. So does he change that mentality and actually hit those open players and then wait for the big play, not just force it. But hey, time will tell. The Vikings game is less than a week away, week away right now, so I'm excited to see what this offense has. Defense will be consistent, but Dave Canales giving little tidbits of what this offense will be. Guys, let us know down below, what do you think about this offense? Do you think it's going to be something nice to see, or are we in for a rough, long year as a Buccaneer fan?
Uh, let us know down below with that said until the next one.